Is it possible to get a green card if you are a J1? The answer is yes. In my case, it's true because I used to be a J1 teacher with 212 enroll, two year home residency requirement. Now I am a green card holder here in Central Florida. Let's talk about that in this video. So let's dive in and let the journey begin. <music> My name is Emery. Welcome to Powerful Couple Journey, where we talk about immigration processes, especially with J1 waiver, where I used to do it myself. It is based on the exceptional hardship waiver that I had through my U.S. citizen spouse. So I was a J1 teacher way back in 2019, and I got my green card in the year 2023. It's a really long process but of course you really make sure that you know the step by step and if you are compelled to do it yourself you can do it. If the process that you are looking for is through an agency you can do that or you can also do it yourself. Now speaking of visa application if you are looking for a very smooth flow of application for your family and be able to bring them here in the US like for tourism or for family-based application you can rely to Filipino visa they have expert people that could help you with the process starting from their application all the way to booking your tickets and have them with hotels and locations for your ease to have your flight here in the United States of America. So Filipino visa is highly recommended. I am so blessed here in the US because I found my partner, which is a US citizen in the year 2019, four months after I was able to step foot here in the US. I was able to come here in the US in August 2019 I met my partner, which is my boyfriend during the time, in December 2019. We got engaged December 2020 after a year, and we got married in April 2021. After that, it's already my almost third year as a J1 teacher, I submitted my application. It is not advisable to do it in your third year because you might not be able to extend your j1 visa through your visa sponsor based on my experience i did process my papers where i am still on status with my j1 visa while transitioning from a j1 with 212 e rule to getting my waiver and adjusting my status through filing my papers with the uscis and the Department of State. It is a very long process, so you have to read the processing time, look at your own timeline, if it suits the best timing for you, if you are on your second year, or if you are on your fourth year as a J1. I prepared J1 Waiver Helping Hands group through Facebook. That way we can share ideas. There are a lot of J1 teachers already who are successful with their J1 waiver. It's most especially those that came from the Philippines. We all know that the no objection statement from the Philippines is really hard to get. And this is our way of sharing our ideas. Whether you are compelled to have your own immigration lawyer or you can do it yourself. When it comes to doing it yourself, you have to prepare a lot of courage because the anxiety the stress is too much especially you don't know what is the processing time or if your papers has been with a very good adjudicating officer or a personnel from the USCIS or the Department of State and if they're looking at very well so making sure that you know the timeline and you have your evidences that is really a way to go. I prepare our website, powerfulcouplejourney.com for all our evidences, starting from the psychological evaluation, medical doctor's letter, 
we also have letters from friends and family that you would like to check as a template and especially the statement of reason. The statement of reason is important with your DS-3035, which is needed to be submitted through the Department of State. And the sworn statement is needed as well from your U.S. citizen spouse to be submitted. There are a lot of videos that I prepared here in Powerful Couple Journey YouTube channel. I hope you will like, subscribe, and share this information to J-1 holders or J-1 visa teachers that are really needing help to let them know that there is a certain Filipina from the Philippines who did the J-1 waiver through do-it-yourself process and is willing to help and guide you and share the information that we have in order for you to feel confident with your case. Remember, your case is very unique to you and you need to think of the totality of circumstances that way you know that you have a very strong case and you have a way to get your waiver so for those that are having a lot of anxiety lately because they got their request for evidences don't you worry it's very important to know that the uscis is telling you on what are the things they are needing from you through the request for evidences because they see that there's really a hardship however they need to know that you have strong evidences that backs to your claim about the hardship that your spouse is facing especially if you are submitting your j1 waiver through exceptional hardship this channel powerful couple journey is dedicated to really give you the information based on our experience we are not immigration lawyers this is just based on our true to life story and sharing to you our ideas that hopefully will bless you as well while sharing this to other people for those that are looking for ways to bring their family here for tourism or for family-based application you can always rely to filipino visa because they have the way to give you an ease when it comes to the application from step one all the way to getting the plane tickets and booking your hotel stays thank you so much for being here with us don't forget to like share subscribe to this channel and hopefully we could meet on our next video have a great day